This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Beth Jones. First tonight, the Walgreens in Cornish was significantly damaged after police say a woman's SUV crashed into the building. The York County Sheriff's Office says the 77-year-old Limerick woman had just left the Walgreens on Maple Street Thursday and was trying to drive away in her Subaru. According to deputies, instead of placing her vehicle in reverse, she put it into drive and went through the wall and into the store. The woman was not hurt and no one inside the store was injured, thankfully, but deputies say the building sustained major structural damage and remains closed. Well, recently unsealed court documents reveal that the Federal Bureau of Investigation seized what is believed to be human remains from a Fairfield antique shop. A.J. Douglas explains the FBI affidavit. Back in May of this year, a search warrant was issued for pulling antiques and auctions to gather evidence connected to an alleged illegal trafficking of Native American human remains. These court documents tell that story. Documents from the United States District Court for the District of Maine detail a beaded American Indian pipe bag with Apache Scout was listed on the family auction business website. The item is advertised as documented scalp and this large lock of hair tied to a 1899 dated tag. The item was seized by law enforcement following an anonymous tip. The Public Affairs Advisor for the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Boston Field Office released a statement stating, quote, With respect to the recovery, there is a process underway to determine whether the item is human, whether it is Native American, and whether, if Native American, the remains are that of a person who is a member of a particular tribe. If it's determined that the remains are those of a Native American who was a member of a particular tribe, efforts will be taken to repatriate the remains back to the tribe for interment, end quote. The auctioneering firm has been in operation since the 1950s. Per the website, most items are listed for over $10,000. We reached out to the owners of Poland Antiques and Auctions for a statement, but were advised no one was available at this time. In Fairfield, A.J. Douglas, ABC 7, Fox 22. Well, on this day, 104 years ago, the guns of World War I fell silent on the Western Front and 116,516 Americans had given their lives. For one memorial in Washington, D.C., there was a ceremony to remember with bells of peace at the 11th hour on the 11th day. There was an incredible performance of sacrifice, of valor, of commitment, and I think fairly you can say uh, that we helped rescue civilization. The ceremony ended with a wreath laying at the monument, a remembrance of all the lost lives and wounded and a war that changed the world. Well, local junior ROTC group organized a parade to honor veterans in the greater Bangor area. Our Devin Dagnold was able to meet with participants who commemorated the day. The Bangor High School JROTC hosted their annual Veterans Day Parade, welcoming veterans of all kinds from the greater Bangor area. I feel privileged to be here. I wasn't expecting this here, but I feel privileged to be here. And like I said, you can't be around a better bunch of people. According to Lieutenant Colonel Daryl Lyon, the senior army instructor for the Bangor JROTC and one of the main organizers for the event, there were vets trying to join the parade as late as just a few hours before it took place. Lyon says this enthusiasm from local vets and scout organizations resulted in a turnout too large to keep track of, but he appreciates everyone who made an appearance all the same. For many veterans, the day marks a reminder for the sacrifices they and their fellow patriots made for their country. This day is a great opportunity for us to honor the veterans that came before us and the folks that gave us what we have today. Uh, you see them all along the parade route and uh, they're enthusiastic still about it and we're happy to be here to support them and honor what they've done for us. Many of those involved in the parade were moved by the resounding support of those who came to watch them march from Brewer to Bangor. To learn how you can support your local veterans, visit MainVFW.org. In Bangor, I'm Devin Dagnall. Reporting for ABC 7 and Fox 22. 
In other news tonight, according to paperwork filed in U.S. District Court, N.D. Paper, who owns Kraft Pulp Mill in Old Town, has filed a partial motion to dismiss a complaint. Back on October 7th, Walter Demons of Milford and Kirk Ramsey of Bradley filed a class action complaint against the mill for the noxious odors. The claim said that through the defendant's operation, maintenance and design of the facility, the smell was causing property damage through nuisance, trespass and negligence. The motion to dismiss says that the suit shows no merit with no supporting legal evidence. We now await the findings of the court. Well, Maine utility crews are getting ready to deal with the remnants of Hurricane Nicole. Nicole stormed ashore as a Category 1 hurricane and has left a trail of destruction in many Florida locations. Now a tropical depression, the storm weather the stormy weather, rather, is expected to drift into the area later tonight, bringing heavy rains and some strong wind gusts as well. Central Maine Power says it has been preparing for any outages caused by the storm. Company officials say the strong winds and a saturated ground can uproot trees and bring down limbs and power lines. CMP will be staging crews along the coast to handle any problems. Mainers are also encouraged to steer clear of any power lines they might encounter or see and to visit the CMP website to report outages and look for updates. All righty, well, that is a glimpse of what could be coming our way. For a little more info on that, let's take a first look at our forecast. All right, thank you. Happy Friday. Your first weather is brought to you by Goose River Farm Meat Store, and happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. A very nice day today with temperatures, but now the rain's going to arrive for us tonight, and that rain could be locally heavy tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. But look what we did today. High temperatures back in the 60s, even a couple low 70s across parts, uh, western parts of the state. Uh, we're pretty much done with those, though. Things are beginning to cool off now as the clouds are increasing and the rain showers are not too far behind. In fact, look at the radar further back off to the west. This, all of this is moving this way. So a pretty good rain event is on the way beginning tonight and lingering through much of tomorrow. Our forecast then tonight, though, is cloudy skies, rain developing. That rain could be heavy at times with low temperatures hanging out in the 60s. Your full forecast is coming up. Alrighty, well, coming up on ABC 7 News at 6, how the town of Bar Harbor gathered to celebrate the end of the tourist season in their pajamas. And a ribbon-cutting ceremony is held today for the Our Heroes Military Museum. We'll have those stories and much more when we come right back. You've probably seen those ads on TV with the out-of-state 800 number that look like information from Medicare. Some even suggest that your zip code will get you more benefits or even money back. You guessed it, those ads are misleading. So don't call that out-of-state 800 number when your help is right here at home. Do what I did and call the Senior Planning Center. They have trusted professionals all over Maine. Call the Senior Planning Center at 223-6565. That's 223-6565. Looking to improve or upgrade your home or place of business with at-home furniture, appliance, and bedding and kitchen and bath and flooring, we offer a great selection to do just that. From homeowners to commercial businesses and everything in between, our friendly professionals with more than 50 years of combined experience pride themselves in going above and beyond to work with you every step of the way. And we even offer a full-service appliance repair department. Come and visit us at our Dover Foxcroft or our new Lincoln location. Stop in either location today and see what we can do to make you feel at home. The Furniture Gallery's pre-Black Friday deals are here. We're fully stocked, just in time for holiday get-togethers. We've got your choice of five-piece dining sets starting at $4.49. Need extra living room seating? Sectional starting at $6.99 and recliner starting at $2.99. Long distance guests staying over? Queen mattresses as low as $2.99 with closeout mattresses up to $1,000 off. Special financing is available. Support our main family-owned business and save money. The Furniture Gallery in Augusta, Bangor, Gorham, Newport, and North Windham. Nobody likes to talk about health insurance. It's complicated, expensive, and stressful. 
But when you join a nonprofit health insurer, you finally have someone in your corner. Someone who not only knows how hard it is out there, but someone who genuinely wants to make it all easier. Easier to enroll, easier to understand, easier to pay for. Because when you put people over profits, life is just better. Get a quote today at healthoptions.org. ABC7, proud to honor all veterans. Well, the town of Bar Harbor came together dressed in their best pajamas to celebrate the end of the tourist season and to give back. As our Matthew Jaroncic reports, the competition was a little fierce. On your marks, get set, go! On a day where veterans are being honored, there was also a unique event in the town of Bar Harbor and all the town folk came out. Some, some great weather here Friday morning. Um, lots of participants in the, in the bed races, more than we've had in a number of years. Uh, and uh, we had tons of people come out to, to shop at the pajama sale. Four years, a pajama sale and bed races tradition has been a staple of the Bar Harbor community for this time of the year, allowing Mainers to have some fun while shopping local. Every year we look forward to this. We just love coming down for the shopping and the races, and it was very exciting as usual uh, to watch. The day is typically highlighted with participants and spectators arriving to the event in their sleepwear, followed by taking advantage of the end-of-the-year deals that local businesses are offering. These stores are left open in Bar Harbor. They're pretty much year-round, and if not year-round, they have closed for like six to eight weeks. So it's good for um, the business in town. You didn't have to race to win today, but it was sure fun for everyone. The smiles on everybody's faces, whether it's watching the bed races or the runners themselves, or seeing the people come out of the, the different shops with the deals they just got at their favorite shop. Uh, there's just, it's just an enthusiasm and, and a, a real sense of happiness and pride in the community here. Matthew Jaroncic, ABC7 and Fox 22. Like the lime green robe there. Nice. All right. Well, a new museum opened its doors today in Lincoln. Our Heroes Military Museum hosted its grand opening this Veterans Day from 10 to 5. A ribbon cutting, live music, and Civil War reenactors were just a few of the highlights. People turned out and gave us plenty of support, uh, plenty, of, uh, plenty of donations, uh, not just monetarily, but also with... Um, stuff they had in their homes they brought in uh, out of their closets and we didn't expect it. Well displays include uniforms, models of battles and various artifacts spanning from the Revolutionary War to the Vietnam War. Museum staff hopes that new families and students can learn from the exhibits and they say they plan to be a resource for local educators and a destination for field trips. The museum is open Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 10 to 2 and also open on Sundays from 1 to 5. And a Bangor museum ended its season with a celebration to honor its veterans. The Coal Land Transportation Museum celebrated Veterans Day with a performance from the Bangor Band and a selection of essays from local students. The essays were the result of the museum's veteran interview program. For the program, the students are matched up with vets and discuss what freedom means to them. According to the museum's director, Jennifer Munson, the goal of the conversation is to teach high school and middle school students that freedom isn't free. Veterans Day means so much. Uh, Galen Cole was a World War II veteran, and Veterans Day and uh, freedom meant so much to him personally. That's why they began the veteran interview program and why they do the essays, so that students are given the chance to be taught that and taught that by our veterans. Well, the Coal Land Transportation Museum will reopen May 1st. For more information, you can visit coalmuseum.org. Well, this Veterans Day, we're spotlighting one World War II vet who's one half of an unlikely friendship taking the Internet by storm. More than 40 million people have watched this 97-year-old veteran get a well-deserved surprise on TikTok. And ABC's Will Gans spoke with the person who pulled it all off. William Good is a World War II veteran who thought this meeting in a local California park was simply a coincidence. I just wanted to see if you'd be willing to go to Disneyland with me today. Hey, that's great. <laughs> you really want to take me? My gosh, I can't believe this. But that life-changing day for this veteran. I thought my life was over. I'll, I'll remember this day for a long time. 
was something Isaiah Garza has been planning for quite some time. I've had senior citizens written on my mood boards for like ever. So I was like, how cool would it be to take a senior to Disneyland? I put up an ad on Craigslist and it was literally like a fake ad. And his nurse contacted me and was like, hey, I have this sweet man. What Isaiah didn't plan was the friendship they'd form with the 97-year-old veteran. It's like family, you know? He's just a beautiful human being. We laugh the entire time. It's insane. Like, he's just like my grandpa in a way. We get to see him in your video, <laughs> the teacups with his hands in the air. What was that moment like for you to witness firsthand? Uh, it sounds cheesy, but it was magical. And he says he feels younger now. Like, he feels, like, younger. And he he's pushing me. Isaiah even taking their new best buddy to a Rams game getting the V VIP treatment. You are really good. Thank you very much. My heart was beating. I was up on cloud nine. I was homeless five years ago. Like, I was living, like, next to Skid Row five years ago. I was living in abandoned office buildings for, like, almost a year. To do this for work now is pretty crazy. You don't know how much I appreciate this. In honor of Veterans Day today, Isaiah is paying tribute to their adopted grandpa in a major way. And I can't say exactly what Isaiah has in store, but think high flying, high luxury and emotions running high too. keep an eye out for that brand new video on Isaiah Garza's social channels today. Will Gans, ABC News, New York. And still to come on ABC 7 News at 6, join locals and vendors for the Cider and Cheese Festival in Ellsworth this weekend. And in sports, a Hamden Bronco is signing her letter of intent to play in Providence next year. That story coming up right after the break. I'm Jay Pearl from Carroll Harper & Associates, Maine's most experienced Medicare Health Plans agency. Every day we hear how complicated navigating the Medicare maze can be. Let us help. From enrolling in Medicare to finding the right Medicare Health Plan, we are your go-to agency. We represent Martins Point Generations Advantage and other Medicare health plans that meet our quality standards. There's no cost or obligation for our services, so call Carol Harper & Associates today. Al, did you make that call? Honey, we already have Medicare. Why do I need to call? Alan, the Feldman said we may be able to get additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan right here in our zip code with $0 monthly premiums. Honey, what do you mean additional benefits? We turned 65, we got Medicare. That's all there is to it, right? I'm talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. We have traditional Medicare, which is only Medicare Parts A and B, but not Part C. Wait. So not everyone on Medicare is a Part C plan? No, that's why we need to call because there may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Parts A and B. We don't have a Medicare Part C plan which covers everything in Part A and Part B plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. What kind of extra benefits? There are great plans that may be available with extra benefits like dental, vision, and hearing. Did you say dental? Yes, dental. Medicare Part C plans could include dental benefits that help cover routine dental exams and teeth cleanings, plus dental x-rays, fillings, gum disease treatment, and dentures. We need that. I'm calling. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B, like routine dental coverage. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. You don't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now for your free 2022 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800 413 8094. 800 413 8094. Tonight's sports is brought to you by Ansley Moore, a realtor since 2013, working throughout the state of Maine with both buyers and sellers with a focus on the greater Bangor area. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ryan Sudall. First of all, happy Veterans Day to all of the families of those who have served our great country and those who have served our great country. We are very glad to have you 
in our society. You are the true heroes of our society. I am here live tonight at Foxcroft Academy for the Class D semifinal football matchup between the top-seeded Foxcroft Academy Ponies and the fourth-seeded Winthrop Ramblers. The score currently, with about five minutes to go left in the third quarter, 25 to nothing, not 23 to nothing. It was, and then a muffed punt resulted in a safety that went in the favor of the Ponies. So now. 25 to nothing. This is a far cry from the first time that they played this season. It was a 28 to 27 overtime victory for Foxcroft. It's going to take a lot for Winthrop to come back and win this game to head to the Class D state final. The winner of tonight's game will face the winner of the game also tonight between Freeport and Lisbon St. Dominic's. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of great, a lot of great fans here. There's actually a search going on over here for someone who dropped their diamond out of their wedding ring. Is the search going okay? Or we, or do we have any success in the search yet? Not yet. Oh well, we we hope we hope that everything uh, goes smoothly there. Foxcroft is actually going back back to the game. Foxcroft is going um, for their first title in a uh, first sec sorry back to back titles. Um, yeah, they won last year in 2021, looking to win this year in 2022. They will do that if they win tonight and win next week. Winthrop, both, that's a try -op. So Winthrop, Monmouth, and Haldale, the last time that either of those teams won as a, as a single operation was 2000 when Winthrop won the Class C championship game. So that's what we got going on here. And now let's go to some women's college hoops. One local athlete has signed her national letter, letter of intent to play for the Providence Friars down in Rhode Island. Hamden Academy's Bella McLaurin put pen to paper on Thursday night, officially marking the next step in her basketball journey. Bella has led Hamden to, to a state finals appearance and has really anchored the Broncos these past few years. She says she knew Providence was the perfect fit for her right after her visit last year, and that's when she officially made the decision. She also says she wouldn't be where she is today without her family. I have to say my parents for sure. I mean, I know that sounds cliche, but uh, my dad is someone that I really, really look up to and someone who's given me a lot of perspective. And my mom used to play basketball, and she's always out in the yard with me and stuff like that. So um, not only my parents, but my coach. I've been fortunate to have really good coaches and really good teammates. McLawn will be going to the Big East where she'll play teams like UConn twice a year. She says that that competition night in and night out is what she's most excited for. She, she's looking to make an impact right away with her Friars squad and her future and current coach have both been impressed not only by what she does on the court, but how she does it too. The one thing uh, that Coach Crowley has talked to me about why he recruited me is just because, like, I'm a tough player um, and I'm just going to give it my all. It's about, you know, there's not many things you can control, but attitude and effort are two things you can always control. And so uh, just always playing my hardest, not worrying about, like, the shots, like, all that stuff will come. I don't have to coach effort in practice. Uh, she sets the pace for just about every single drill that we do, and there's no false effort in that. That's how she does everything. It is to her best at 100 miles an hour, full speed, giving everything she has. That's all for sports tonight. I'm Ryan Sudol. Now let's go to Jeff Weller for your full five-day forecast. Jeff. All right, thank you. Happy Friday. Your full weather is brought to you by Varney Ford, the nice car and truck people. And you and I have a lot to talk about tonight. First off, though, happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. A nice day with temperatures in the 60s today, but now... The rain showers are not too far behind and locally heavy rainfall tonight and throughout the day tomorrow, ending as some light showers across the area on Sunday. So not a perfect weekend on the way. So the clouds are increasing out there now. The rain showers are not too far behind. In fact, there's a lot of them back off to the west of us. Look at all this moisture headed our way. A healthy rain event again is on the way for us for this weekend. And again, it's going to be a two-day event for tonight tomorrow and also on Sunday with some thunder showers in there tonight and just locally heavy rainfall throughout the day tomorrow. Okay, so here is Futurecast. And again, the yellows, oranges, and reds, that's locally heavy rainfall. Non-severe, but locally heavy rainfall. Some really good gully washers in here this evening and throughout the day tomorrow. We'll get several waves of rain throughout the area tomorrow into tomorrow evening. It will begin to wind down, though, tomorrow night with some more light shower activity in the back side of this getting in here on Sunday as we keep things cloudy. And then behind this system, you know it, it's November. We have some much colder temperatures on the way beginning Monday. 
Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday after some light rain showers getting in here on Sunday into Sunday night. So overall, kind of a wet weekend's on the way, then cooler, sharply colder temperatures getting in here Monday into Tuesday. So the rain showers are likely tonight. Here's tomorrow, Saturday morning into 9 a.m. Saturday, looking at a little drop in the rainfall, but then right back up through the noontime hour. And then we'll get a break tomorrow evening, followed by a good chance for some more rain showers in here on Sunday. Uh, so again, a healthy rain events on the way. Many of us could see an inch or two of rainfall again, and we've done this several times now in the last two months. So get ready. A good uh, rainfall is on the way. It's going to be all rain, though, with temperatures in the 60s tonight and tomorrow, dropping into the 40s by Monday. Right now, the wind is out of the south around 10 miles per hour. This is actually going to pick up a bit tonight, and it's going to get a little gusty as that low pressure approaches. So already gale warnings posted off here. Uh, we could see wave heights approaching 8 to 12 feet by tomorrow morning. Okay, temperature wise, uh, highs today back in the 60s here in Bangor, 63, 60 for Bar Harbor, 67 in Millinocket. They had some sunshine earlier, but now the clouds have rolled back in. It'll be about this way tomorrow, the surge of warmer air on the way before the cold front swings through and really cools us off then for late Sunday into Monday. For tonight though, showers and a couple of thunderstorms out there, non-severe, but some areas of heavy rain. Look for low temperatures or not so low, low temperatures down near 60 for tomorrow. All right, so showers and a couple of storms in there, locally heavy rainfall, but many dry hours as well. Look for high temperatures back in the mid 60s. That's not normal. We're going to change that, though. Looking ahead here, five day forecast shows. Yeah, that rain likely tomorrow. More showers Sunday afternoon. But then look what happens. 51 for Sunday, Monday, 41. We hang out in the 40s through much, if not all of next week. All righty, Jeff, thanks so much. And there's still more to come after the break. We have a lot to be thankful for and a lot to celebrate. This holiday season, let's do more than see the people we love. Let's be with the people we love and make the holiday memories that we will cherish for a lifetime. Let's begin at Bangor International Airport, the official airport of making tomorrow's holiday memories today. FlyBangor.com. If you were hurt because of exposure to the toxic water at Camp Lejeune, Congress has made it possible for you to recover a settlement. Former Marine Attorney James Beardsley wants to help you. Call now to see if you qualify. Call 222-2222. Leona May's Antique and Gift Shop is now open in Newport. Our unique building is a converted 1800 single family home that we've given a new life to. A home for treasures, from antiques, collectibles, unique gifts, and so much more. Come make the rounds throughout the many rooms on all three floors as you wander back in time or find a unique gift that's perfect for that special someone or that hard to buy for a relative. So come visit us today. Leona May's Antique and Gift Shop, 147 Main Street, Newport. However you spend your day, spend it in style. At Label Shopper, you'll find designer brands for 30 to 70% less than department stores. With prices this low, you can grab all your favorite styles. Label Shopper, great clothes, great prices. Our Medicare supplement and drug coverage is so expensive, we're barely keeping up with our bills. My husband and I were in the same situation. So I got some help from the Senior Planning Center. They were able to show us some high-quality Medicare Advantage plans that saved us a lot of money. The Senior Planning Center? Tell me more. They have helpful agents all over the state. Real Mainers helping Mainers. Give them a call. The Senior Planning Center. They were there to help when it mattered most. I'm glad I called them. You'll be glad, too. Ladies, a main adventure. At Rennie's, we got lots of Carhartt. We got sweatshirts, we got lime pants, we got hats, we got gloves. Flannel shirts, winter jackets, coveralls, we got everything at the best prices and the best selection at Rennie's. Thank you for shopping locally. Tonight, the balance of power in Washington at stake, where the vote count stands. Plus, tracking Nicole as more warnings are issued. For election results and more, Americans turn to the number one newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Muir.
A festival celebrating hard cider and cheese is returning to Ellsworth for its fifth year in a row. Hard cider and cheese tastings will be held both virtually and in person this weekend at locations throughout downtown Ellsworth or from the comfort of your own home. For those attending in person, Fogtown Brewing Company is hosting cider pressing, apple tasting, and live music starting at 2 o'clock on Saturday. The festival market, which takes place in Merrill Park, also happens on Saturday from 10 to 3. What it really, I think, does for the community is it sort of helps kind of create a little bit of an identity for Ellsworth. It kind of highlights some things that we've plucked kind of from the history that, that really sort of resonate with, uh, with the folks here in, in our city. Well, the in-person cider and cheese tastings are held at 86 this, 86 this, this with one Saturday at 6 and an additional tasting Sunday at 2. If you want to attend virtually, you can purchase a cider and cheese basket online, pick it up and bring it home, and then tune in. More information can be found at heartofellsworth.com. And also, just a quick programming note tonight, folks, our special segment, Our Heroes, Their Own Words, airs tonight at, AB at 8 p.m. here on ABC. Shark Tank will then air tonight after Nightline. Well, that is going to do it for us from everyone here at ABC7. Take care and have a great rest of your night.